Welcome to the Bayside Jewel. to the Bayside Jewel. How are y'all doing out there? How are you doing all over the globe, my brothers and sisters? I'm wish wishing you peace, love, power, and great wisdom. Yeah, and great guidance. Yeah, because in times like this, you know, is when a lot of our people become a lot of our people become vulnerable, you know. So yeah, so I'm, I'm wishing all of the best for my people. Yeah. But I come on here to um, talk about a couple of things. Uh, the first thing is, you know, with, with all this uh, mandates going on all over the place, it puts our people especially the ones that are choosing uh, not to take the juice, put, put us in vulnerable situations. So the, my first thing is that I had a few ideas that if you were admit, uh, among those that were put in this vulnerable situation, I think you do have, uh, you, have you, you have ways that you can sustain yourself. I uh, thought of a few ways that I wanted to come on here and, and tell you. Now, they may not be the greatest ideas, but I think you can create some income. The first, first thing I want to tell you is that you probably could, if you drive, you probably could be a driver. Yeah, just hand out a few cards and tell them, hey, if y'all need a ride, <laughs> call me. I'll come and get you. I'll take you where you need to go. You know, and just do your own thing like that. Uh, another one I, I thought about is maybe you can, if you can throw down cooking, you sell, sell some dinners. There's another way you can create some income, you know. Uh, another thing is uh, laundry. You can do laundry really good might be able to, you know, work something out to where you can do some laundry and get paid, you know? So those were just some of my ideas that, you know, for my brothers and sisters that are, you know, in that vulnerable situation because definitely your rights have been uh, violated, totally violated. And, you know, with, with this bullshit, that just shows you how much regards they actually have for humanity. Keep in mind that these are the same motherfuckers that genocide your ancestors. You really think they give a shit about you? Huh? Really? You know, to tell, tell you the truth, I think if this shit was real, they wouldn't tell you shit. They would just let you catch it. But they tricking you into running to get the juice. They got a hot, hot cock this cocktail waiting on your ass. So they put fear into you because this shit is not really in the atmosphere like they say it is. I don't think that the universe just wakes up one morning and decide to put a virus down on the earth. That's, that's not the universe. And that's not the cosmos. That that there is an entity, you know. And for you that are there in uh, America or Gotham City, because you you remember Batman. Batman had Gotham City. In Gotham City, they they had a, 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 a Mr. Freeze. They had a, a Mr. Heat. <laughs> they got. 
I mean, these 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 characters were taking control of the weather. Remember that, <clears throat> Mr. Freeze wanted to freeze every damn thing up. Yeah, Gotham City, the motherfuckers. They put that shit right there in front of your face. They probably had the technology to do that shit back then when they when they came out with Batman. <laughs> But yeah, and that's what they, they mostly do anyway. They put movies and shove that shit down your face. And you think it's just a movie, but the motherfuckers already know what they're gonna do. You know, what they done already discovered and shit like that. You know, they put it right there in plain sight, you know. But one thing I gotta say too is this. I don't think there's ever been a time where the brothers and sisters can now peep the game, you know, I, it's, it's, it must be the third eye, must be the third eye, because there are so many of our people that are on to these, these creatures that are on our planet, violating us, and have been doing so for hundreds of years, you know, and I give props to the youth that are coming up and they see right through all of this old bullshit. So now we are actually, now we're actually uh, playing the game. Before we were playing ball and jack while these motherfuckers were playing chess on our asses, you know? But now we're, we're on the board, we're playing the game. So, you know? I know it puts our people in a vulnerable situation where, where they, it, 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 it's actually manipulate and monopolize. And that's their tactic. Always been manipulate and monopolize your ass. You know, and then they use their, their, their uh, media with their narratives to, to tell you because of this we're doing that. You know, these motherfuckers have been doing case studies on us to see how we would react to it. Hundreds of years, hundreds of years, you know. You remember when uh, there, you know, back back in the back back in the days. I'm gonna tell you, we some powerful people. We 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 are different people. We just been put to sleep, but when we wake up, you remember. Just like our uh, 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 well, he's an ancestor now, but Doctor Delbert Blair. He said, when the masses wake up, it's going to be like an ant trying to hold back a tidal wave. And that's what's happening right now. This is why these motherfuckers trying to do things so goddamn quick. Because they know the masses are waking up to their asses. You know? Now, these motherfuckers know how bad we are. They know how bad we are. So, uh, 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 you remember back in the days... When, when, uh, when they had us human trafficked, you know, they would have, they would have uh, uh, the sisters breastfeed their, their goddamn children. Now, why would they do that? Because they know that the sisters' milk is better and more healthier, more potent than their, their woman's uh, uh, breast milk. They know that. This is why these motherfuckers have done so many tests when they we went through the period of uh, uh, eugenics where they were, you know, uh, going inside our bodies, examining shit and, and every every fucking thing, you know. You know, there is a sister that uh, they she she they say she had cervical cancer, right? But isn't it ironic that? Uh, they were stealing her uh, cells. They stole, stole her damn cells because her, her cells had so many uh, uh, incredible properties that was actually healing other uh, cancers. Yeah. And do you know that her name is Henrietta? Henrietta Lacks. That's her name. And uh, do you know that her cells are still being used today? They stole her cells. Without her consent, she didn't even know. Her family didn't even know. And now that they know, they're still not giving the family shit. It's like these motherfuckers know they done wrong to us today. They still don't want to uh, give reparations. They don't want to budge, y'all. This is a fucking entity on this goddamn planet. I don't care what you say. It's an entity. 
and I, uh, they're getting help from some some other entity that is not of ours. You know, so they know how bad bad we are. So let's wake up. Let's continue to wake up. You know, you know this is why they playing the game that puts you in such a vulnerable spot. You don't know what the fuck is in that juice. You don't. You know, it's crazy that you go buy a goddamn loaf of bread and you look on the side of that bread and you're going to see the ingredients. There is no fucking ingredients. They, they don't tell you no ingredients for the juice. Do they? Have you even bothered to ask? If you're young and you're juicing, you don't know what kind of babies you're going to have. You don't. You don't know what kind of babies you're going to have. If you even have any babies, you don't know. But, you know, I, I got worried of some of the, some of the things that were, were in, in that stuff. And uh, from what I heard, you really don't want to know. Now, when I start talking about this shit, I know that it's going to get less views because people just, just don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. But for those of you that are with me and that are conscious and on board about, you know, making wise decisions and staying conscious, you don't have to have uh, a, a man over you playing God. You can be God yourself by making your own decisions and by being your own government. You can govern yourself. You Hell, you do it every goddamn day. You don't need somebody govern over you. You really don't. Especially when it's not to your uh, benefit. It's not. It never has been to your benefit to have a government governing over you. You know? These motherfuckers have taken everything from you and they ain't trying to give back not a goddamn thing. So, yeah. So, you know, I just, you know, for all my people that are that are tuned in, that, that, that have done some research and, you know, discover some things that these entities ha have done to us. You know, we went, went through so much shit, man. Jim Crow, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I, I keep falling back, though. You know, we were so off the mark when we were talking about we want rights to be United States citizen. We want right to be United States. So you're basically marching saying, I want to be a part of your clubhouse. I want to be a part of your clubhouse. That's what you're basically marching saying because you were not a United States citizen. So now they are claiming you to be a United States citizen. Hell, you march and you protest so long for it because they were right. You were not a United States citizen. You were not. Instead, instead of us uh, 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 marching, talking about we want to be a United States citizen, we should have been trying to get our own shit together because what you're actually having is you're having uh, 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 Jacob and Esau you know, that's what you're having. You got two nations on that land over there. And one is de jure, the other is de facto. You know, one belongs there, the other is an imposter. You know, so you remember the movie Trading Places? Them motherfuckers have traded places with you. They're acting like they're the indigenous people that run that shit. And that they're doing you a favor. You are the outsider. Keep in mind, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, let us be clear here. Those motherfuckers came from Great Britain. You were already there. <laughs> so, you guys, take a deep breath. Just take a deep breath. Let that marinate. Let that marinate. 
And now, and now, Jacob is ruling over Esau. Esau is the oldest. Just like you are the original man, the original woman. These people are Johnny come lately, 6,000 years ago, and they just boom, 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 boom. You gonna do what I say. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Guys. Check out their sister, what they did. And you know, her, 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 her uh, cells are the only cells that have lived outside of a human body. The only cells. So they got her cells creating different cures for different things to this day. And her cells are still living in test tubes today. And that was back in 19, I think that was like 1932, something like that, when she died and when they stole her uh, cells. It was like, and her cells are still living, curing many diseases and viruses to this day. Show you how powerful we are, you guys. You remember when the, the uh, 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 they used to have the sister breastfeed the white baby because her milk is better for their child. The motherfuckers used to make a little, uh, 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 make a slave lay down and then they would uh, put their feet in his belly because it would cure them, their, their arthritis and shit like that. We are powerful people. We've just been put to sleep. Wake up now. And I'm so glad that so many of you are, you know? So, I don't want to make this video too long. Because, uh, you know, you, I, I, I just gave you just a little bit of what you needed to hear for the day. And till next time, we're going to sign up out of this camp from the Bayside Jewel. I'll come back at y'all. Peace.